hi hello welcome to VHDL basics today we are going to discuss about uh, syntax of uh, force and release in very large HTML for that I am going to take uh, synchronous five for example which we already discussed in earlier videos I will put that link in the description please refer that as well in that uh, we missed it to discuss about the test bench of uh, synchronous five four here uh, in, I will explain uh, the test bench file and then we will discuss about the syntax for uh, force and release. This is the test bench of synchronous 54. The parameter data, data with here I am declaring as 8 and the 54 depth also I am declaring as 8. Address with this 3 bit and all the inputs. Of the synchronous 5.4, I'm declaring as register, and all the outputs I'm declaring as wire. So here, in the always block line number 24, I'm generating the clock, and initial block I'm initializing the all the inputs, and in uh, always block uh, starting from line number 35, where I am changing all the inputs. Uh, so that uh, we will see uh, 54 uh, writing into 54 and reading back from the 54 and we can see the output uh, of the 54 uh, like uh, full empty and read data read valid everything we can see in the simulation result actually so this is the simulation result of that particular test bench here if you see here it was in reset so it, uh, all the memories has been initialized here and i'm starting right uh, so so once reset is released if you see empty flag is uh, in high so once the first rate is happened then empty flag is going low once 54 uh, depth is matched then full is going high once read is started then uh, full flag is going down so likewise it is happening uh, again i'm doing right then again full plug is setting again i'm going to read the entire uh, 54 if you see uh, the when last data is read out uh, then uh, empty flag is going here so this is the uh, test bench uh, with respect to uh, simulation result actually simulation result with respect to our uh, my test bench actually now i'm going to force the full flag and empty flag so that we can see uh, what is happening when we are forcing that full flag and uh, empty flag so after uh, 800 nanosecond i am forcing the full flag so here i am doing hierarchical assignment so the instant name dot the flag and i am assigning the value after some time after three uh, na 300 nanosecond again i am forcing the empty flag as well so for that uh, instant name dot empty equal to whatever value we are planning to assign so both uh, full and empty i am planning to assign as one which means it indicates uh, which indicates 54 is full and uh, 54 is empty as well so we can see the result in the simulation so this is the simulation result for that here if you see the uh, first 800 cycle rate where write and read is happening properly so after 800 nanosecond i am setting full flag is i here if you see the full full is i here when we are trying to write write won't happen since full flag is set that is what happening here the write is not happening and after 300 nanosecond i'm setting empty as i when 54 is empty we can't read data from the 54 so that is what happening here see read enable i'm giving but it's not giving the read data since empty flag is i so here we are forcing empty and full so this is how it will uh, impact 
in the uh, simulation when we are forcing the particular signals actually so here we are forcing full and empty right now we are going to release this full and empty and we will see the result for that as well so what is the syntax for release so after some time so after uh, 300 nanosecond i am going to release the full flag so for that i need to give release instant name dot signal name and semicolon then again after 300 nanosecond i am going to release the empty flag as well so syntax for that is release space instant name dot signal name here that signal name is called empty so i'm giving empty so this is the empty flag we are going to release so here if you see the simulation result for that so the first uh, before the 800 turn a second read and write is happening because we are not forcing empty and full so after 800 nanosecond if you see here i am forcing the full then again after 300 nanosecond i am forcing the empty as well so when full is high write will not happen when empty is high read will not happen so that is what happening here so after 300 nanosecond i am bringing back uh, i am releasing the full actually which means full will be controlled by fifo so when we are forcing the full it will be controlled from the test bench when we are releasing it again we are giving that full control of the full will be taken care by the fifo itself so here if you see when we released it it is going back to zero then when we are trying to write it write is happening here then after 300 nanosecond i am going to release the empty as well so here i am releasing it then empty will be controlled by 54 then it is going to zero when we are trying to read when empty is zero then read is also happening if you see read data is coming properly here so this is the impact of force and release hope you understand the syntax for force and release in verilog hdl thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe this channel for more videos